Let's do it. I appreciate you guys uh, listening in. Appreciate you having me. Honored. Let me go over a couple of things before I begin. You know, it's not necessary that you know all the nooks and crannies of a compensation plan. That's first and foremost. I've been doing this a long time. A lot of people, you know, like back in the Amway days, you'd have people, you know, in Amway try to, you know, act like, you know, well, we do this and we do that and we have people earning this and we have this and that. But none of those people that are ever talking to you ever make a dime. They, they just don't. And that's really the bottom line. Every single one of you in here are going to make money. Every single one of you in here can actually end up making a lot of money. So you've got to end up knowing the basics and know the basics well. If you get to the point where you're past the executive vice president level, then it's time to really start getting you know into the nooks and crannies of those higher levels. But until then, it's really not that big of a deal. There's a lot of people making a ton of money uh, that are at the executive uh, vice president level. To get higher than that, it really becomes stupid money. So let's, um, let's just break this down. I like to keep things simple. A lot of people like to, uh, like to listen to me train because I like to really break things down and keep them very, very simple. So I'm going to do that. I tell people all the time that there are three ways that we get paid here. There's a front end plan, the front end pay is called the Unilevel. I'm going to break each one of these down in detail. The next one is the, uh, the back end pay. It's the three by 21 level matrix. And then lastly is the infinity bonus. It's really the icing on the cake. So let's get started. I want you guys to take a look at this. This right here is what you call Unilevel. I'm going to go over each one of these in detail. You can enroll infinitely wide right here. Hopefully you guys can see my cursor here. You can enroll as many people as you want wide. And then some of those people will do nothing. Some of these people will enroll maybe one or two, and some will enroll 20, 30. Some people will enroll 1,000. Why? Because it's free to get in. And whenever you have free, it's very easy to get people in. I tell people all the time, this business really becomes a matter of how fast can you give free away, okay? So that's the Unilevel plan that you're looking at right there. That's what it looks like. The matrix plan looks a lot cleaner. It's a three by 21 level, meaning you've got three people as you can see on your first level. Those three get three, who get three, et cetera, et cetera. But it's not really like that. The computer generates it. It's a computer generated matrix. It has nothing to do with rank advancement. It has everything to do to put more money in our pockets. That's why it was put in place. Now let me go over each one of these in detail. This is the Unilevel plan. You're going to go out and you're going to enroll people on your first level. Everybody that you put in, magically, you don't see it, but just know that everybody that you ever put in personally are on what we call your first level. It's kind of imaginary, but it's there, okay? And each one of these individual people that you put in become a quote-unquote leg of yours, okay? So if you enroll 10 people, you've got 10 legs. If you enroll 1,000 people, you've got 1,000 legs. If, you've got, if you enroll 2,000 people, you've got 2,000 legs. That'll become important here in a minute. Let me keep going. So you can enroll infinitely wide. Just know that. Now, again, some of these people are going to enroll some people. Some aren't. Some will keep enrolling, some will keep enrolling, some will keep enrolling. That's kind of how the Unilevel works. What you need to know is how we get paid. Anybody that you personally enroll, you're going to get 20% of whatever that volume is, okay? So whatever the CV is on that volume for life, forever, you're going to get 20%. And remember, like Michael was saying earlier, you don't even have to place a personal order. And you're always going to get 20% of anybody that you personally enroll. That's, I've never seen that in my almost 30 years in this industry. So kudos to the company for giving people something, for doing nothing, but just sharing a great opportunity and some and products. And again, what are people doing to get in? They're basically enrolling in a free membership service so they can get this stuff at wholesale. That's it. That's all you're doing. Don't make it any harder than this. A lot of people make enrolling people hard. You know, when we first got in this, you've got, you're going to be hearing from a guy in the room there by the name of Roland Rascon. I think he had 800 people in his group in the first week or two. And that's because they understood how simple this business was. They went out and just got bodies and said, get in. Don't question it. Get in. It's free. You don't need a credit card. You don't need a social security number. Get in. And it's like a wholesale buying club. So keep it simple. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. I cannot stress that to you enough. 
Keep it simple. So again, anybody you personally enroll, you're going to get 20%. Anybody that they personally enroll, you'll get 4%. Anybody that they enroll, you'll get 4 and 4 and 4. So it's a five-level, unilevel plan, okay? Now, you have to do something at these other levels, but just know that on the first level, you don't even have to place an order. You're always, for life, going to get 20% of what are those people order uh, from the company. Now let's move on to the unilevel plan, or the, uh, sorry, the matrix. How does this work? You and I have nothing to do with how this matrix uh, pans out. The computer does this in the background. As people, uh, as you're putting people in, and as they're putting people in, as they're putting people in, it just starts filling up. You can only have three people on your first level. So after you've gone out, for instance, you put in three people, there are people above you putting people in that are dropping below you. They just start filling in like this. So three on your first level, uh, nine on your second, and it just keeps going down, 27, 81, et cetera. And that's kind of how it, how it, how it lays out. So take a look at this for a second. Now this only goes down, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That's 11 levels. This is 21 levels and it goes further than that. I'll tell you about that here in a minute. But this gets into the millions of people if you go down a little further, just even a little further. So this will never be filled up. So don't ever worry about people, you know, what re really what level they're on. You're never ever going to fill this matrix. It's not gonna happen. Okay, so just know that you're going to get paid pretty much 1% all the way down 21 levels, but generously they give you 10% on levels six and seven. But there's what a 21 level, three by 21 level matrix looks like. Okay, now let's continue. Here are some of the ranks as, as you climb up. If you enroll one person, okay, one person that orders $47.47, let's just call it an active person, just know that. If you enroll one person who's active, you're gonna be able to earn levels one through seven. Guys, that's, an, that's incredible, okay? And you're a first level manager. Enroll two, you're a second level manager, and then senior manager and enrolling a whole whopping three people. What did it cost to get people enrolled? Nothing, it's free for every one of them. They got them for free. Now they go out and they, activate themselves they order at least let's call it 50 bucks make it i like to round things up 50 bucks you know you're at the senior uh manager level and you can get one through seven uh levels one through seven and the highest amount of percentage on that uh level one through seven then to become an executive manager you just enroll another person that's active you get levels eight through 14 and then and then your climb to vice president becomes in your matrix infinitely deep now i want you to keep this in mind infinite infinitely wide, infinitely deep, when you get to 5,000 US dollars, not volume, big difference here with this company versus other companies. They make you do volume. These guys are saying, no, I'm gonna make it a little easier on you. You do 5,000 US dollars in volume, infinitely, you know, infinitely wide, infinitely deep, and you're rolling, and you see it here, you're rolling 31 days. That means in the last 31 days, whatever the average is, there it is. $5,000, you become an exe a $5,000 executive manager, and then $10,000, and $15,000, and then VP is hitting $25,000, and you're rolling 31 days. You have to have a fifth active, and, you, and, and there you go. You get all 21 levels. Now, let's take a look at what that means. Here's your matrix, your three by 21 level matrix. When you get to a total of $25,000 US dollars, and you're rolling 31 days, you become a vice president. Now, why is that significant? Because not only are you gonna be able to earn that unilevel plan, 20% on your first level, and then 4%, 4%, 4%, 4% all the way down, and then you're also getting here, your 21 levels, your 1% all the way down on your level six and seven, percent you're getting an additional 3% to infinity on everything in your matrix. I wanna go back here, remember, you're climbing your way all the way up here. When you finally get to 25,000, you become a vice president right here. Infinitely deep, and that's US dollars. You now earn 3% infinity all the way down. That becomes a big bump in your check, okay? Now, when that 20, to get to 25,000, that's really is your biggest hurdle. To go from 25,000 to 50,000, it goes a lot faster. It's almost like a quantum leap that happens faster. Why? 
be, because it's compounding. You know, you've got so many people now. At the beginning, it was just you talking to people. Then it was you and five people talking to people. Now it's you and hundreds or maybe even thousands of people talking to people. And that's going from 25,000 to 50,000 happens very, very quickly for a lot of people. Okay, then you become what's called a senior VP when you get to right here, 50,000 in sales. Remember, that's US dollars. Now look up top here. Not only get the 3%, you get an additional 4% for a total at the bottom here on the pink here, 7% infinity bonus. You get another nice bump in your check. Then when you take this from 50,000, watch right here, to 100,000, you become an executive vice president. You get an additional 5% infinity bonus. Now you're at a total, look at the bottom here, of a total of 12% infinity bonus. Now remember, this is an additional 12% to infinity over and above your 21 level matrix that you got in the beginning in your unilevel plan. Okay, so it all starts compounding. The money starts getting another big bump in your check. Okay. Here are your three different VP levels, vice president, senior vice president, and executive vice president. It goes 25, 50, and 100. And you see on the right-hand side, you get your 3% infinity bonus, an additional 4% infinity bonus, an additional 5% per total of 12. But the question becomes is what happens when, let's say Diane right here, take a look right here. Diane becomes a VP, okay? She becomes a VP. Well, what happens? She now earns 3% on her entire group. So she gets 3% on her entire group. What happens to the other? You don't get that 3% anymore. You're only going to get nine. So the 12% that you are getting is now split. Diane gets 3% of just from her all the way down, this whole leg here, from her all the way down, she's getting 3%. You get the remaining 9%. You see how that works? Remember, there's only 100 pennies in a dollar. So they got to divide it out. But now, Diane, you're patting her on the back. You want her earning more money, don't you? This whole thing is about building other people up, okay? So that's how that works. Now, this is the last thing, and I want to give kudos, by the way, to, uh, to Michael Kahn because I was, uh, I was really curious to see how the company was going to come out with a comp plan. When I saw Mike, I said, oh, here we go. Mike's going to dish out the comp plan, and usually owners don't do a very good job of dishing out their own comp plan. Michael, that was an amazing job. Uh, so, guys, I'm going to tell you, I mean, it's great that I'm giving you the comp plan here. I like to simplify things down, but Michael Kahn does a phenomenal job breaking the compensation plan down in a back office and does it in about 20 minutes. Um, and he re th that, that video and, and him uh, sharing the, the, the profit sharing position there, the PSPs, is also really – I do it a different way, but it is awesome. So if you listen – I tell people when they get in – Go watch that video three times and you'll understand the comp plan. Don't ever tell someone to watch the comp plan once. They'll never get it. Tell them to watch it three times. They'll finally get it. They're off to the races, okay? So let's go over how I explain it. Here is the PSPs. Now, what is a PSP? Again, it's another way that Stu Finger and the boys put in place for us to make even more money. Once you get what I'm about to go over, once you get it, You'll sit back and go, oh my gosh, this could be massive. This could really be big, and it is. So pay attention to this, okay? So here you are, you're making, you know, you're making your money here, right? You're making uh, uh, infinity bonus where this yellow, let's call it a yellow rainbow, a yellow arc is. You're making an infinity bonus. But these people here that are in yellow, I did this already because I don't want to go through a long drawn out thing. But the people in yellow, remember, when you put a person, anybody past your third person that you personally put in, they're going to give you what's called a profit sharing. I didn't go over this slide here. I was talking. I, I totally went over it. Um, every, from your fourth person to infinity, you get what's called a PSP. Okay? So when you put in your fourth person, you put in one, two, and three, and then when you put in your fourth person, let's say that person's name is Michael. Let's say, let's say that person's name is Mike. Mike goes in, but there's another you going in above Mike as Mike's being dropped into the matrix. So if I go down here, if this is, 
uh, if this is, I did this wrong, but let's say this is Mike right here. When Mike comes in, this is another U being dropped in above Mike right here. So you get another, uh, you get another person being put in, it's another U. So let's call you, let's say your name is Julie. So here's Julie, here's Julie number one. You put in person number one, you put in person number two, you put in person number three. Let's say you put in this person here and this is, uh, this is Mike, there's gonna be another Julie following Mike right here. So these two come in together like this. So Mike goes in, but there's a Julie number two here. Then there's a Julie number three because you put in this person, Ken, right here. Then you follow me, so you get it. You're always getting an additional person. I kind of did this wrong. Um, but here's how this thing works. Let's say this is number two right here. This is you number two you're already getting an infinity bonus. You're already getting paid on this, on, on this right here. When this comes in right here, you're getting paid another 21 level matrix on this entire arc right here. So this person right here is you number two. You're already getting paid an infinity bonus from here all the way down. But because this is you as well, you get paid on this as well. And you get a 21 level matrix on this person as well. It pays the same way as this one right here, but you don't have to activate this, this person right here. Same thing goes for here. You put in this person right here, this one came in with it. This is you number three, okay? You're gonna get paid another 21 level matrix on top of this person here, there, there, there. So this 21 level matrix, I didn't mean to say infinity bonus, this entire 21 level matrix that you're getting paid on, three by 21 level, there's another three by 21 level matrix that starts right here. It gets paid the same way here, 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 here. Anytime you've put in your fourth person, fifth person, sixth person, so your fourth person to infinity, you're always getting another you put in there. So right now, the way you're looking at it, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more U's that were put in there, but there's even more down here. See these other yellow dots right here? These right here? You're always getting paid an additional full 21 level matrix on each one of these people that go in. So the question becomes, if you dropped in this stud, let's say right here, you're getting paid an infinity bonus on this right here. From here on down, you're getting a 21 level matrix. But you're doubling up because you're getting it on this arc as well that goes over top of this arc here. So you're getting another 21 level matrix. Then you're getting another 21 level matrix. You're actually tripling up on the money. I hope this makes sense. Maybe Michael, you can shed when I get off here, you can uh, shed a little bit of light on this. but. I guess what I'm trying to say here is that you can literally double, triple, and quadruple, even quintuple later on down the line when you put a stud in. So the interesting thing about this is let's take this out a year, two, three years down the road, and you finally get a brand new person, and you're thinking, man, I wish I would have gotten him. It doesn't matter whether you got him in three years ago. Because now if you drop in a brand new person, let's say this brand new person just went in right here, you're getting paid once, twice, three times on this person you just put in right here. I hope that's making sense. You're not getting paid once. You're getting paid like three times on this person. And now I'm getting paid four and five times on some of these people that are coming in. Three and four years down the road, guys, the, the profit sharing position checks are gonna get absolutely massive. Like right now, I think I'm earning an additional, I don't know, $800 a week on my profit sharing positions. Take it out another two years, it could end up being another $8,000 a week. That's how big we're talking. It's gonna be exponential. Um, hopefully that made sense to you guys, I hope it did. Lastly, I wanna tell you this, let's draw this out. Remember, this is the unilevel plan here. You can go infinitely wide and it goes infinitely deep because what you're really looking for down the road, Janet talked about the top dog positions called Top Gun. What are you looking for in Top Gun? You're looking for three studs and they can, 
they can fall anywhere in your downline. Doesn't need to be your first level person. And everybody, this is one of the biggest mistakes in network marketing is people, the difference between leaders and people that never make a lot of money in this industry. I'm going to give it one of the big ones to you right now. People that make a lot of money know how to what they call chase the volume. They know how to go down and find the leaders way down below and then let people above them know, hey, you got a stud down here, get to work. And I'm going to show you that here in a second in this diagram. What a lot of the newer people do or the people that never make a lot of money is they work with their first level people that they put in, maybe their second level people, but they never work with their third, fourth, fifth, 10th, 20th, 30th level people. They don't do it. They don't think it's their responsibility. It's someone else's responsibility. It's the wrong way to think, especially in this compensation plan. Let me show you why. In this, you're looking for three studs to end up becoming executive VPs and beyond, really presidentials or beyond, okay? So it doesn't matter if you find a stud on your first level, great, that's wonderful. But that's not really where it's at. I mean, this person got in, went to work, became a stud, became a VP, and then a senior VP, and then an executive VP. Great. But you know what I did in this diagram? I went out and I went through Julie, who went through Mike, I went through Ken, and I found George down here. And George, I figured, was really the stud. So I bypassed all these people, and I figured out that this guy right here, someone was doing a lot of volume, and I found who was doing it. And I went down here, and I found George, and I started working hard and heavy with George. And I got George to VP. Now, remember, in this compensation plan, it doesn't matter where your leaders end up. You need three legs, doesn't matter what level, you need three legs that are going to become your studs, okay? And then over here, I found one down on my one, two, three, four, for this diagram, my fifth level down. This guy wasn't doing much, but he enrolled this person. This guy wasn't doing much, but he enrolled this person. This one didn't enroll much, but he enrolled this person. This one here found a lady by the name of Jennifer, and Jennifer just took off. She got it, and she took off. Well, we found out who this lady was, and I went down here, bypassed all these people, and went to Jennifer, worked our butts off with her, maybe even went out and did a meeting for her, whatever, did all kinds of three-way calls, conference calls, whatever for her. She became a real stud in this business. So some people say, well, wait a minute. You're not helping me. You're not helping any of these people. Oh, yes, I am. I'm building your entire leg for you, going down here and working directly with this Jennifer down here. But what I do is I would come now and I would go back to this person, this person, this person, this person saying, have you seen what's going on down here with this lady Jennifer? Well, who's Jennifer? There's a lady down here that, you know, Greg, you got in this guy named George. Remember George? Yeah, George got in Bill. Bill got in Julie. Julie got in Jennifer. Jennifer is killing this thing. All you have to do is go do a little bit of work, and you're going to reap all the benefits down here on this lady. And what ends up happening is you take this one little teeny tiny trickle of a leg, and you turn this root into a massive tree because it starts building out like this because these people wake up because I see the light at the end of the tunnel down here. And that's how leaders really build massive volume. They don't worry about their first and second level people. I mean, if they're studs like this one they do – but they keep working down till they find someone they can work with that they see eye to eye with and they build them out to be studs because they get it. So what you want to do is you want to reach down and you want to keep, keep reaching down below. Who else do you have? Who else do you have? And what you're doing is you're trying to find people below you that are doing a ton of volume. You know that there's volume coming. You find out where that volume's coming from. And then you go bomb with that person. I can't tell you enough that there are people down there, they have no idea who's in their upline. Another, again, great example who's sitting in that room is Roland Rascon. Roland reached out to me because I was, I was putting out, um, like a lot of us do, me, Klaus, Janet, we put out these, these emails you know, to our group. I was putting out an you know, email that went out to thousands of people, and Roland reached out and he said, hey, man, I'm in your downline. I just want to let you know that, you know, I needed some help. I needed this and that, da, da, da. And I said, well, you know, tell me about, it. you know, what, well, you know, I've got, you know, 4,000 people in my group. And I was like, I, I, I was like, say what? You know, I was like, who, who are you? And we started talking. 
And before you know it, I'm like, here's one of these studs that are down here. And so Klaus and I reached down and we started building rapport and a friendship with Roland Liesel and, and, you know, the rest is history. He's almost an executive VP and he's right there becoming an executive VP, but he had no idea who his upline was. And he was like three or four levels down from us. So this is what I'm talking about. You're going to find, and there's many people that have reached up to us now and they're way down there. You've, you've got to find the people that are working. And I want you to write something down on your piece of paper there that I learned very first rule that I learned from a lady by the name of Claire McDermott. Gosh, I'm going back to probably 1991 dating myself. And I was at some big leader thing out in Salt Lake City. And um, she said, you know, son, I can see that you're going to be big in this industry. She goes, I see you're real young, but can I, can I give you a few tips? And I said, man, I'd be honored, uh, Claire. And Claire was making about 400 grand a month at the time, one of the biggest earners ever in the, in the industry. And one of the first lessons that she taught me was this. Strength and strength. You want to strengthen strength. Write this down, please. Strengthen strength. Don't ever strengthen weakness. Strengthen strength. You don't ever want to strengthen weakness. And what she meant was this. You know, this might be your unemployed broke neighbor at the end of the block. And, you know, you're like, man, if, you know, if, if, if Greg would just, God, if he would just see this, he would tear not what you want to do. You know, it, that's not what we're looking for. He's not a strength. He's not doing anything. Keep reaching down till you find the strength. There's a Roland down here who's saying right here. Now, Roland's not saying, hey, I need help. Roland's saying, get out of my way. But what Claire was saying to me is you want to go strength and strength. You want to go find the Rolands out there and say, what else can I do? If you don't need help, who in your downline does need help? How can I help you? get even bigger. And that's how you'll take your check and double it and triple it. Strengthen the strength in your group. Find the strength and strengthen it. Don't work on people, though, the, you know, the woulda, coulda, shouldas. You know, find the people that are doing and help them do even more. And your group will absolutely explode. I hope that makes sense. And remember, it's not that you're not helping these people by finding the Rollins of the group and working these. You go up above saying, you have any idea, Dodo, who you have down here? Get to work and make them go work out here like this and have these people start going out like this and, and like this. And if they don't, they don't. But that's how, you'll, that's how you'll do it. But really, you want to go down here and say, Roland, okay, you don't need help with these people. Oh, you want me to go down? I'll go down here and help with this person here and this person here. And you want to help strengthen Roland's group because he is never going to leave. This one's going to make money. And you want to make him help him make a ton of money, even if he's making more money than you. You hope he makes more money than you. That's called job security. He ain't going anywhere. Okay, so in any case, I hope that helps, guys. And I know I didn't do a great job on the uh, on the PSPs. Maybe Michael can shed some light there. But just know that those PSPs were put in place to help you all and me and all of us make even more money. And that's why they patented it, because it's never been done before. So hopefully this has helped. And Janet and Klaus and you guys, uh, I appreciate you guys having me on. If